Russia announcing it launched cruise missiles targeting ISIS positions in Syria. Moscow saying six missiles were fired from their vessels in the Mediterranean Sea, claiming the strike destroyed command centers and ammunition stockpiles. Connor Powell, live from our Mideast Bureau with the very latest. Uh, Connor, do we take the Russians at their word on this one? Well, that's, uh, it seems to be that there were strikes launched by Russia, and Russia is saying that before they launched these strikes against ISIS, which is their claim, it hasn't been independently verified yet, they gave both Israel and Turkey a heads up about these uh, strikes. They did not, however, give the United States a heads up, as they've done in the past. Now, Russia's uh, latest show of force against ISIS comes uh, as mounting tensions between Moscow and uh, Washington after uh, a U.S. jet shot down a Syrian plane that dropped bombs near American-backed rebels in uh, Syria a few days ago. Russia and the Assad regime say that Syrian jet was targeting terrorists, terrorists which is sort of a catch-all phrase for anybody uh, that the Assad regime uh, views as uh, an enemy there. Now, in response, Russia's military cut all communications with the Pentagon, and Russia said it would treat any U.S. jets west of the Euphrates as a potential target. Uh, the Assad regime really does continue to consolidate both victories and territory on the ground in Syria. And the United States, Russia, and uh, the Assad regime are starting to bump up against each other as they battle not only uh, for space but against ISIS. And it is becoming much more tense there and raises the real possibility for conflict. But one thing we're starting to see, Leland, is that uh, as we move forward and the Assad regime really is starting to win on the ground, countries like France, uh, French President Macron said yesterday, they see the priority needs to be on ISIS and not Assad leaving. That is very much the view of Russia and Iran. That's a big change from like countries uh, like the United States and Saudi Arabia, which wants Assad gone. A lot of changing dynamics right now on the ground. In large part, the United States is left out of sort of the future right now because the U.S. and Russia aren't talking. Well, success defined in so many different ways. Connor Powell there in the Middle East Bureau. Connor, thank you.